Question two, uh, organic chemistry. Uh, we have a table there. We have six organic compounds. And then uh, 2.1, uh, 2.1.1, uh, it says uh, write down the letters uh, that represents uh, the following. 2.1.1 uh, says a ketone. So A, A is an acid, uh, B is an aldehyde, uh, C is an alkane, uh, D it's a halo alkane, and then E is an alcohol, and then F is the ketone. <laughs> uh, why am I saying F is the ketone? I'm saying that uh, because of uh, the functional group. Uh, let me let me do something real quick so that I can show you what I'm talking about. So here's the functional group here. This is the functional group for ketone. So as soon as I see that, I know that ah, I have a ketone. So that is F. Uh, we have 2.1.2. Uh, 2.1.2 says two compounds uh, that are functional isomers. Um, functional isomer. Uh, a ketone uh, is a, a functional isomer of an aldehyde. And then a ester is a functional isomer of a carboxylic acid, right? Uh, these are the only two functional isomers we have. Uh, so the only ketone we have is F. Uh, it has one, two, three, four, five. It has five, um, it has five carbons. Uh, let's look and see if we have an aldehyde. Uh, that is five carbons. Uh, e is not an aldehyde. D is not an aldehyde. Um, C is not an aldehyde. B is an aldehyde. And it says pentanol. Uh, you know that it says uh, meth, eth, prop, but, uh, pent, right? So it has five carbons. So the functional, two compounds that are functional isomers is uh, B and F. Uh, it's aldehyde and ketone. Um, let's move ahead. 2.1.3. 2.1.3 says, uh, write down the letter uh, that represent a hydrocarbon. Uh, uh, that's a alkane and alkene or an alkyne. Uh, for this question, uh, the only uh, hydrocarbon, hydrocarbon we have is uh, number C, uh, which is a uh, which is uh, which has 10 carbons and 22 hydrogens um let's move ahead uh 2.2 2.2 says uh for compound d uh, let's look at compound d uh there it is there i just yeah put some brackets over it to highlight it uh it says uh, write down the oh no uh write down the homologous uh, series to which uh it belongs uh, we know that it's a hollow alkene, like we've already said. Uh, so we're just gonna go ahead and write that down. Uh, why are we saying it's a hollow alkene? It's a hydrocarbon uh, that has a halogen. Or uh, in this case, it has halogens because it has two, uh, two bromine. Yeah. Uh, there we go. That was 2.2.1. Let's move ahead to 2.2.2. 2.2.2 says, uh, write down the UPEG name of uh, compound uh, D. So we're going to calculate uh, the carbons. So we have 1, uh, 2, uh, 3, 4, 5, uh, 6, 7. We have these two here on the outside. And then uh, 8, right? So as soon as uh, we 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 get eight, uh, we know that uh, that is going to be oct. So we have oct, and then uh, it's a hollow alkane. So it's just going to be octane. And then now we look uh, for where the halogens are positioned. Um, if we count from uh, the right hand side is one two three and then if it ca we count from the uh, left hand side is one two three four so uh the 
the closest path to a halogen is from the uh, right hand side so we're going to have three uh, comma and then uh, the other position for the other halogen so that's one two three four five so it's three uh, comma five dash uh, di uh, di bromo octane uh, three um, point five uh, di bromo octane yeah there we have it uh, let's move ahead uh, two point three 2.3.1 2.3.1 says uh, consider compound F uh, compound F is a, a is a ketone it's a ketone um, uh, then 2.3.1 says uh, write down the UPEC name of its positional isomer okay so positional isomer same molecular formula uh, but different position of the functional group so we have one two three four five uh, carbons and then the functional group is on this uh, second carbon from the right uh, if we for 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 an element to be a ketone uh, the oxygen double bond should be sandwiched by carbons right so we cannot put uh, an oxygen here it becomes an aldehyde it's no longer a ketone uh, but then if we come and we put it on this carbon here then it's going to be it's going to be the same name because we'll start naming from uh, this side so it will still remain what it is so uh, we are supposed to put it in the carbon in the middle uh, it will have a different uh, position of the isomer uh, that's different UPEC name but it's still a ketone that has the same uh, molecular formula so uh, that's how we draw it so we no longer have uh, these the oxygen double bond is there and then uh, you can fill out the rest of the carbons so now the name becomes one two three four five uh, that is pent right pen 10 and then uh one two three uh one two three if you count from any way uh from the left or from the right uh, you get to the oxygen double bond uh, after you've moved a uh, past two carbon so that is pen 10 three on and then yeah that's it that's how you 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 name the positional isomer of compound f uh 2.3.2 says a chain isomer of um compound m uh, compound f so still same uh, molecular uh formula uh, but different uh structural formula so again let's go back to the basics we have one two three four five um and then we know that the oxygen uh, double bond should be sandwiched between two carbons so let's say it's still here uh if you take uh, this carbon here and then um you put it here that's virtually impossible because a carbon can only support uh four bonds uh if you put it here then you're gonna count from uh you're gonna start counting from this one because it's not there won't be anything else here so you'll count start counting from one two three so it will remain uh, the same uh, the same ketone but then if you don't do that and you take this uh, carbon here and then uh, you put it here uh, you're thus going to get a, a different a different chain a different name but still the same of the cola formula yeah uh, maybe there's another way that i'm not seeing that you can use but uh, as long as you play around with it it has a different name it still has the same molecular formula and uh, then you're good to go so in this instance if uh, this is what we are going to have uh, it's going to be uh, let me see it's going to be a uh, buten uh, two own right so if this is one and we're saying this is two then this is three so we're gonna have three dash uh, methyl uh, butane to own and then that's a chain isomer uh, for compound f 2.4 uh 2.4.1 says uh, during the reaction of compound a uh, with compound e uh, compound a is an uh, acid right and then compound e is a uh, alcohol oh, there we go and then uh, you know that uh, when you mix an acid and an alcohol in the presence of an acid catalyst uh, you're going to get a starification 
So let's see. Uh, 2.4.1 says, uh, uh, okay, so, okay, they have reacted. It says, uh, write the U peg name of the organic compound formed. So you know that, uh, if you have an alcohol, um, and then acid, uh, you add the acid and then you get, uh, the ester. Uh, the naming, uh, you start by the alcohol, right? The alcohol is, uh, in this instance, um, okay. One, two, three, four, five, six is, uh, hexanol, hexanol, right? So we have hexanol, uh, for the alcohol. And then for the acid, we have methanoic, uh, methanoic acid. If you mix these two and you form an ester, this is how you write the name. Uh, you take, uh, the alcohol is hexanol. It, be, it will become exile when you start writing the name of the ester. And then this one says, uh, methanoic acid. It will become methanoid. Uh, metha, methan, methanoid. Uh, metha, anoid. Uh, <laughs> the spelling is just confusing me there for a second. Uh, but then, okay, it's not that, it's not really visible. Metha noid. Yeah, so that's it. That's, uh, the name of the, of the ester. So if you had butanol, you're going to have butyl methanoid. And then for a different uh, acid, you know what to do. Uh, so we, we done with uh, 2.4.1. Uh, okay, 2.4.2 says, uh, the structural formula of its functional group. Uh, that's the functional group of, uh, ester. Uh, so you have a double bond and then you have an oxygen here, you have a carbon and then uh, it can be bonded to some things there. And uh, this is the functional group. This is really no trick. There's no formula. It's just the functional group of an ester. Yeah. Uh, but if you pay attention to detail, you can see that, uh, this is this a part will come from the alcohol and then this part will be come from the acid. Uh, but other than that, I uh, just straight forward, uh, 2.5, uh, 2.5.1, uh, compound C, uh, 10 carbons, uh, 12 hydrogens reacts at high temperatures and pressure to form a three carbon alkene, uh, three carbon alkene. So that's, if uh, that's a uh, propyl, uh, it has formed propyl and then some alkene uh, Q. And then the first question is, uh, write down the type of reaction that takes uh, place. Uh, this is cracking. This is cracking. You can see that is this big compound and then now it has cracked to P and Q. It's cracking or you can even write uh, elimination. Uh, this is also acceptable then 2.5.2 says a uh, molecular formula of compound q okay so we start with 10 carbons and then we have uh, 22 uh, hydrogens right and then we have a three carbon uh, alkene so that's three uh, carbons is an alkene so this is supposed to be uh, H of 2N, N is 3 in this instance, so that will give us 6. So what's left? Uh, 10 carbons, and then we subtract uh, 3 carbons. We're left with 7 carbons, and then 22 hydrogens, and then we subtract uh, 6 hydrogen. Uh, we're left with um, left with 16, 16. so that is uh, Cn, H, uh, 2N, uh, plus 2. So this is... Um, yeah, so this is uh, the uh, the question says uh, we shall write the molecular formula. So this is the molecular formula. This is the molecular formula we're looking for. Um, and then 2.5.3 uh, structural formula of uh, compound P. We already know that compound P is propyl. So C C C C. Uh, we can put the double bond here, or we can put it there. It doesn't matter. I will still have the same name. And then uh, carbon, carbon, saturated, carbon, 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 and then saturated. So yeah, there we have it. 